All right, let's look at this problem at the bottom of the second page. In the multiplication example at the right, different letters represent different digits. What two digit does AB represent? All right, well, unfortunately, with these kind of problems, there's not really a system put in place or a mathematical style that'll work. It's more of using logic and trying to figure some things out. So I'm just going to talk about the way I went through this to try to figure this out. I looked at this and I knew that these two numbers are the same. Obviously, they're both B's, and this is B, and this is B. We know that a zero goes here. So what that tells me is that these two factors, these two numbers, when multiplied together, has to make the same number. Um, so the only numbers that would do that are 1, 5, and 6. Because 1 times 1 is 1. 5 times 5 is 25, so we'd put a 5 here and carry the 2. And 6 times 6 is 36, so a 6 would go here and we'd carry the 3. Okay? Um, so basically, I just try, pretty much figured out it's probably not going to be 1. So I just kind of just went with a guess. And now I have a 50-50 chance of being right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try the 5. So I'm going to rewrite this using 5 instead of B. Five D five zero would equal then five E D five. So this would be the same equation written out, replacing B with the five. And again, that is just complete guess. I've got a 50-50 chance of being right. If this doesn't work the way I want it to, I'm gonna have to redo this using six. Okay? But again, I'm pretty confident it's not gonna be one. So if I start with this, and I know five times five is twenty-five. I would get that. So now I need to do 5 times something. Adding When I add 2 to it, I'm going to get the same exact number as I get up here. Okay, um, And then when I add that number to 5, I'm going to get a completely different number, which I add here. So I have a few more, more numbers to, to kind of figure out with what's going on over here. Um, so I know that there's a 2 here. Um, so I know that this number has to be kind of 2 less at least two less than 10. So it can't, obviously can't, five, this can't be 10. It could be nine, um, it could be eight, but I'm adding two to it, so I can't go past 10. So it can't be nine, because nine plus two would be 11, and it can't be eight, because eight plus two is 10. So it has to, uh, the least amount it could be is seven, or the greatest amount it could be seven. So I'm just gonna try that, okay? And I'm gonna say, what if this was seven? 5 times 7 is 35, 35 plus 2 is 37. So that makes this a 7, okay? And that would make this a 3. So if that's a 7, I'm going to put this in here, okay? And now I put the 0. 7 times 5 is 35, I would carry a 3. 7 times 7 is 49 plus 3 is 52. 5 plus 0 is 5, 7 plus 5 is 12, 2 carry the 1. 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 2 is 6, and that would be my answer. So if I kind of look at this, every single one of my A's is a, are 7's. My two D's end up as 2's. My one C is a completely different number, 3. And E, which needs a complete a number, is a different number. I don't have a 6. So based on that, I basically did, I can check 75 times 75, which is 375 is what this says, and 5,250 which equals 5,625. So my two digit number is 75. And basically, I just got really lucky. I mean, that's the bottom line. I got lucky that the five worked, and I got lucky that the first number I chose, seven, was the right number. So unfortunately, I wish I had more that I could tell you about easier ways to solve these. But really what you need to do is you kind of have to figure out one letter and once you have that one letter figured out, you plug it in, rewrite the problem using the new number, and kind of go from there, trying different numbers until it works out. Not the most uh, efficient way, but you will see, you do, this is a problem that you would get seven minutes on, so that they do understand that it takes a little bit longer to complete. It's not as simple and as efficient. So there you go.